So how does the lead arm work in the golf swing? Well, today we're talking about it because there's really two ways to do it, all right? There's a way that a lot of professionals do it, and then there's a way that I think a lot of you should be doing it, the amateur golfer. And we're gonna go through both of them and show you the benefits and the requirements for each one. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And how the lead arm, which for me is my left arm, how that moves in the golf swing, a lot of different ways to do it, okay, is really important to ball contact, club head speed, and playing some good consistent golf. And so there's really two ways. I'm gonna categorize them as the professional way and the amateur way. And both of them, like I said already, are very effective, but you gotta understand the requirements for with both. So let's dive, first of all, into the professional one, because this is what you're seeing mostly on TV. So lead arm, left arm. When they swing their lead arm back, okay, there's a lot of terms right now about uh, getting the hands deep, staying connected and really rotating and opening up through the golf ball. So let me show you what that looks like. And we're gonna talk about the requirements to do it. So I've got a seven iron. I'm set in here, I got a camera also down the line. If I take my lead arm, all right, and I get it what we call across my chest. See how it's across my chest here, all right? And deep and back. See, this is what we call, this would be my hands being deep. They're deep and behind me. Okay, this is a very connected, compact, solid position. It's a good position, okay? It's not a bad position. It's a good position, it's right here. Now, when I combine that with a lot of rotation with my body, see my body rotating, see my lead arm staying on my chest when I rotate a lot, okay, that delivers the club back to the ball with a square club face, and I would say it's a very consistent way to hit a golf shot. Let me see if I can go ahead and do that. So here we go, I'm set in here. I'm gonna swing it back, lead arm across my chest. It's gonna stay connected and swing through. I'm gonna give you a little tip on how to do that. Here we go, I'm set in. I'm gonna get it connected and across. All right, there we go. That was a really solid, nice little divot. Now, if you wanna go with that style, here's a little tip, and then I'm gonna tell you about the requirements from a body standpoint you gotta be able to do. And then we're gonna talk about the amateur uh, way of doing it, because there's a couple different ways of doing it, a lot of ways to play this game. So the tip to this style is when you get set up to the golf ball, take your lead arm, and kind of take your arm and put it almost up and on top of your pec muscle right here. See how I'm going kind of up, just like that, okay, versus just on the side. Take it up, lift it, and put it on top. What that does is it connects it right here, okay? It kind of connects your arm to your chest, right? Okay, and then you want to keep that there as you go back. You want to keep it there as you rotate through. Let me go ahead and do it from the beginning. Here we go, bring it up. There we go. I'm gonna, it's nice and connected. Let's keep it connected. All right, there it is. Now, what is required in order to swing the golf club like that? Well, one is you gotta have some flexibility because you've gotta be able to rotate your hips a lot. You've gotta be able to re-rotate and open up, get your chest nice and open up to the target in order to deliver that club down to the ball. So it's a very effective, a very repeatable way of doing it, but you gotta be strong you gotta be pretty darn flexible, and I think you gotta, you gotta practice quite a bit. Now, what about the other way of doing it? Because if you're like me, not everybody's got time to practice, not everybody's strong, not everybody's flexible, but you still love golf. A lot of ways, all right, so lead arm, here we go. The other way to do it is to take your lead arm and just swing it more straight back. Okay, I call this the vertical line swing, the vertical line swing system. Matter of fact, I developed an entire book, an entire process around this. has helped thousands of golfers, okay, play some great golf as they get older. So you take it back, it's right here. See, this is a lot more free and easy. Doesn't require, notice my body? It's not really even pivoting, is it? Okay, it's just there. I'm gonna hit a golf shot like that. Get set up, here we go. I'm just gonna swing my arm just straight back. Vertical line up, okay. Solid shot. Notice the body? Didn't move a ton, did it? Okay, because it doesn't have to in that particular style or that particular way of doing it. Now, why do I like that system? Well, because you don't have to move a lot. You don't have to pivot, you don't have to rotate and all those types of things. So I like to practice this. Let me show you something here once. I like to practice this lots of times with the plane slider. I like the plane slider for a couple reasons. One is it's got the slider on here, which we're gonna talk about. Okay, but it's also got a little bit of weight on it. It's pretty, it's pretty heavy, okay? 
Now I like that because I think as we get older, we lose some strength, right? It's pretty natural. But when I have students grab this and they make three or four swings with this, and then they grab their own club, their swing speed immediately goes up because the club is lighter. It feels lighter and they can really move it. So, but when we start talking about this lead arm, okay? All right, in the pro style, not a bad style, the pro style, lead arm, remember, up on top, and stays back and around, right? Okay, see the hands deep? You see where that slid there? It was kind of slow, wasn't it? It's here, the slider did slide down, but it was very late, okay? Which requires a lot of rotation. What I prefer for the amateur golfer, especially the experienced, the senior golfer, is the lead arm works more straight back, and then the ball, okay, right there, notice the slider falls down much quicker, okay? It's much quicker on both sides, boom, Boom, see that? Look at my body. Not really moving much, is it? Doesn't require a lot of rotation, pro style. Okay, a lot of, see the rotation there? So what I'll have them do is do a couple sets of that and grab a club. Club feels immediately lighter, I love that. Here we go. I'm just gonna swing it straight back and up. There it is. Nice and soft. So when you're thinking about the lead arm movement, not good or bad, it's good or bad based on you and what you're capable of doing. Think about the movement, think about the direction, and if you try these ideas, you're definitely gonna improve your game.